We hope to encourage the uh, high school students on Long Island to get enthusiastic about science and STEM uh, activities uh, and hopefully they'll uh, take this excitement and enthusiasm and, and uh, pursue careers in health sciences. Yeah, so my topic is about autism and I think one of the things about autism is that it is commonly misdiagnosed with other neurological uh, conditions and disorders. So what my research focused on was identifying new novel candidate genes to potentially investigate and incorporate into genetic testing. So in my project, I created an app to scan these databases of RNA-seq data in order to identify genes that have a potential role in autism and need further investigation. I think one of the uh, things that inspired me to do uh, to continue this topic was that autism has a very uh, big difference between the number of males and females that are diagnosed with autism. And I thought this was a very interesting topic and especially since a lot of people with autism are misdiagnosed and given uh, incorrect drug pr uh, treatment prescriptions or other um, conditions. So that, that's something I wanted to investigate further and why this was such a big impact. The topic was basically on creating more economical therapies for cancer, specifically uveal melanoma, which is one of the most deadly cancers of the human eye. Yeah, so when I was volunteering at U Nassau University Medical Center, there's a woman there who was crying because she was unable to afford treatments for her son's medications, and that really got me thinking about ways that I could use research to create cheaper therapies, more affordable therapies, and in that capacity, I sought to repurpose the specific antibiotic I used, doxycycline, in hopes of treating cancers like uveal melanoma. I investigated the genetic uh, correlation between uh, menopause and Alzheimer's and ge generally just simply genetic risk factors that affected Alzheimer's disease development. So uh, one of the main problems that exists is the uh, simple uh, sex pre uh, predisposition for Alzheimer's disease where females develop more uh, Alzheimer's than men. So I wanted to further elucidate the mechanism behind that so that uh, in the future they can more accurately diagnose people using their genetics. Well, my inspiration for that topic actually derived from a prior project where I uh, conducted a study relating to uh, investigating the therapeutic potential of a phytoestrogen in, uh, for Alzheimer's. And it was due to an investigation of that chemical's mechanism that led me into investigating why exactly uh, females develop more uh, AD than men, and which was uh, in relation to the estrogenic system. And that's why I discovered that there was a paucity of research specifically within the topic I'm investigating now. So my project was about removing this dye called RB5 from the water. So it's a big problem with the fast fashion industry and in the textile industry because a lot of the times these dyes are released into the water, but it has really negative environmental impacts. So I wanted to see if there's an effective and cheap method to remove this dye. So it was definitely the fast fashion industry because it became it became really popular on social media after the COVID pandemic because everyone was on their phones, everyone was on social media, and everyone was kind of like wanting to hop on the newest trend, and that newest trend like happened to be fast fashion. But I knew that it had a lot of terrible impacts both society, both socially and environmentally. So I wanted to see how we can kind of like fix that issue.